Hey everybody, this is Tambiot and I'm back again with another Transformers video review. Uh, this time I have uh, the Primitive Skating Optimus Prime with Shredimus Maximus. This was a, um, an exclusive from San Diego Comic Con this year, uh, 2017. Um, I actually wasn't able to get it at the convention or have somebody buy it for me at the convention. I, I didn't go, I haven't been before. It's something that I would like to do. Um, at some point in my life, but uh, um, last year I had a, a friend buy me some things, and uh, this year I um, I didn't. Um, I don't know, I just didn't ask. So uh, everything went up on sale on Hasbro Toy Shop and sold out way before I could buy anything. And uh, originally this was something that I wasn't planning on buying. I just kind of last minute decided to purchase it so I I I purchased it at um, Robot Kingdom and uh, I bought it there with it and shipping it was around a hundred dollars and uh, I order a lot of things from Robot Kingdom uh, this is the first time that I've ever received anything damaged um, pretty much all of my masterpieces I uh, I I order from them or Toy Dojo, and I've never had anything come in damage. Uh, this is the very first time. So uh, I, I don't know if, uh, if 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 a lot of you guys keep up with my Facebook page. Um, I posted pictures of uh, of this, and I post a lot of pictures of things that I'm about to review, things that come in. Um, so that's a that's a good way to keep in touch with me and uh, and seeing what's coming down the line for my reviews. Uh, and then I post a lot of things that uh, I feel are relevant to either the Transformer community or things that I like on there also. So I do a lot of one-day shirts that have to do with Transformers. Uh, whenever I see those on, I, I post those up because, um, I don't know, whenever I wear one-day shirts, a lot of people a lot of people compliment me on them, but they don't seem to know. They, like, they ask me where I buy it, and I'll say, hey, here or here, and they've never heard of it before. So I like to do that, uh, and it's not, it's not something that a lot of people wear, um, like, say, with, like, the loot crates where you'll go out and, and you'll go to a convention or something, you might see 20 people with that shirt on. Um, and that's why I like the one-day shirts, because you don't see a lot of people with, uh, with those on. And I, and I try to get the word out a little bit more with those. So um, I put those up on my page, and I... I like I said, I uh, I usually take pictures of things that I've um, uh, am about to review or have reviewed and just haven't put up on the YouTube yet. Um, so I, uh, I digress. Um, so I put pictures up of this guy and uh, I emailed uh, Robot Kingdom. So I did get a reply back right away within maybe a couple hours, and they said, "Hey." Um, uh, my request, um, first and foremost, I'll let you know what I requested for the email. I requested that um, um, I requested a new box. Um, I said that, hey, um, if I can get a new box, I'll send back this box, and you can send me a new box. Um, that's all I'm really looking for. I'm not looking for a new figure. I'm not looking for anything like that. And basically, I'm just looking for the outside portion of the box. The inside, everything's good in there. And they wrote back, uh, they said, hey, please be patient, we're requesting that uh, Hasbro send us a new box. So, um, I kind of got antsy, and that's when I posted my stuff up on Facebook. Uh, I was hoping that that would kind of uh, push it along, uh, maybe get what I wanted. And I um, hadn't heard anything in like two weeks, uh, replied back to the email that they sent me, didn't say anything. So a week later, um, as of filming this, I probably won't have it up for a while, but as of filming this, they've sent me a reply back, and uh, they let me know that they got a new box. They actually did show me pictures of it, and it's just the box itself on the outside. Everything is flat on it. Uh, it hasn't even been put together yet or, or like bent any of the edges. It's all straight. And I got that. And uh, so uh, they said that I should be getting that in three weeks. So hopefully, um, fingers crossed, um, everything will be good with that. <clears throat> so here is the uh, the box, and my son is up. I I'm I'm sitting here. I'm recording this at 
almost midnight. Um, my son's awake because my wife let him have probably a three or four hour nap. Um, so, yeah. But, box here. So if you hear a, a toddler in the background, like now, that's him. So, um, so here's the box here and... So here's the box, and uh, um, the the artwork on it is phenomenal. It has a texture on it, uh, kind of like a fine grain of sandpaper. Okay, so back to the box. I had to go out there and, and get him to calm down because he was out there running around playing and stuff. Um, so the uh, the box is kind of a, uh, a light sandpaper, kind of a, a rough texture. Uh, you can see that there's kind of a two tones of black. There's this and then there's this glossy. So it's, it's really, gosh, I like this. And then you have the gold here. And then there's a lot of, like if you look in the eyes, you can see that there's kind of a cloud type thing in the eyes. And then little little bursts and stuff like this. And this, this box is probably one of the best boxes that I've ever seen. And then you can see some of the damage right here, but there's more of that. This is really where you see that damage right here, and that's, that's unfortunate. But, yeah, like I said, they're using this um, this almost sandpaper type texture to make a picture, and it is awesome. I really like that. That's a, that's a good display piece by itself, is just looking at this art right here. Yeah, there's nothing on this side but except for the uh, the Meteor logo that they've been using. Um, you come to the top of the box and you have the Transformers logo along with the Primitive Skating logo. Um, is there anything on the bottom of the box? Uh, there's another Transformer and then you have... Oh, you have the... Oh, heh, that's what that is. So you can see this is Optimus. Basically it's a... Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a necklace or something maybe, but there's an Autobot symbol right here too, um, right here. See the Autobot symbol? No, I think it's just going around. I think it's just wrapping around with the with the Optimus. I don't think it's actually a necklace. <clears throat> okay, so then you open this up. There's a there's a flap on here, so you open that up and you can actually see the figure on the inside. So you have your your normal. Uh, Optimus Prime here, and then you have his accessories, his normal accessories, the Titan Master, and then you have some extra pieces um, that don't come with anything else. So these are new pieces. These are the ramp and the uh, the rail for his uh, his little skateboard. Um, <clears throat> so right here you have a little bio snippet. Let me see if I can get that in, and then the the primitive skateboarding logo up here, but uh, when Optimus is blasting Decepticons in battle, he's greasing the wheels of his skateboard with fellow skater Shredimus Maximus, shredding Radnar on the boardwalks of Center Rust Pier. They up their street cred while nailing down some signature tricks, the Null Ray Ray, annihilating the competition in the mirror grim. So, it, it's, it's, it uses a lot of skateboarding language that I'm not familiar with, so I'm probably not saying some of these things right, so my apologies. But here, let me go ahead and bring this closer. You should be able to, if it's focused in on it, you should be able to read that. So you can read that at your own leisure if you'd like. <clears throat> and then it's in three other... Um, three other languages on there also. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box so we can check him out. All right, so I'm back, and here I have Optimus Prime out of the box and in his robot mode. Uh, this is the mode that he comes in in the box. He has a few a few accessories. Uh, he has his, uh, his gun. Then Ultra Magnus' gun. Then his two smokestack guns. And then the new accessories that he, well, he has. Uh, he has this Titan Master here. 
And uh, the Titan Master comes with an accessory himself. It comes with this little skateboard. So it's got the uh, little tabs in there so that you can tab in. Um, little Titan Master into there, and there's a uh, there's the the face plate on the back. And this is the, exactly the same um, as the uh, the regular release. Then you have your rails. You can bring that forward and you have the rails. You can go like that. Snap them together like that for storage. So, so your rails. And then you have your ramps. So here are the ramps. You have one ramp and two ramps. So you can actually take the ramps and you can lock them together like that. And... Uh, Shortimus can, uh, can go up the ramps, go down the ramp. Um, you can take the ramps and pull them apart like this. And you can attach the rails. Being a bit of a pain. Um, okay. This side went in fine. This side does not want to go into the rail. You know. Going this way, it seems like. Well, it started going in. Huh. There it goes. Gosh, it's really tight. So you kind of have to wedge it in there. So then you have your rails that, uh, oh, uh, Shredimus Maximus, I think is his name, can can shred across. Yeah, it's Shredimus Maximus. I always want to call him Shredimus Prime for some reason, but uh, it's Shredimus Maximus. So he does have these two little, uh, little grooves right here, and you can take, like I did before, and you can lock him on the rail. Like that. So. And then um, on the ramp itself, there's a uh, there's a notch right here, and you can take and notch them up like that. So. I'll show off the weapon mode a little bit later uh, whenever I get back into uh, into his robot mode. So we're going to start in robot mode. We'll go to vehicle mode, then to base mode, then back into robot mode and show off everything there. Um, so I've already taken the, uh, um, the Titan Master off, so uh, we don't need to do that. <clears throat> so for transformation, we'll go ahead and bring this down. We want to open... Open up the chest area. Um, so we we've brought this down already. This little plate that goes over the chest. We brought that down. We open the chest area. And once we have that open, then we can swing the the head into here. And uh, your Titan Master then goes into here, and he he drives in here it's kind of hard to see because it's really dark in there uh, especially with it being all black I don't know if I can get a good view either way so there's you can see this piece right here that is what you tab in this to I think he's I think he's in there so you bring this piece up oh hey oh, the, those that primitive skating logo is everywhere so you click 
close this up so you can see it's right there. Bring this up. Rotate this around. Once you have that rotated around, then you bring that down. And then you push the truck up and bring it out like this. So then once you have that done, then you want to work on the body section. First of all, what we want to do is we want to open up these plates for the legs. <clears throat> open these up all the way. And then this will go into here. Like that. And we'll do that same thing for the other side. So open up this plate all the way. Flip in the foot. Push it in all the way. And then what we want to do is we're going to take and let's get all this stuff out of the way. What we'll do is take um, there's a tab that tabs into here, so you want to pull this out and then rotate it forward. Everything's getting caught on everything. So you bring that forward, make sure that's still closed. And on the inside of the leg, uh, there's a tab right here. And on the inside of here, you can see that there's a notch. So there's, it looks like there's two different notches. There's a squared notch and then there's a circled one. So you want to tab it into the squared one. There we go. Because it'll get hung on the uh, on the uh, the circled one, um, but it won't not, it won't tab into that one. So you got to make sure that you get it lined up with the correct one. There you go. So once you have it all lined up, then you'll bring the legs together. Bring the legs together. You want to tab those in. Like, see those tabs in, on the inside? There's some tabs in there, and then there's some tabs in here that you'll tab together right here okay now everything's tabbed in now you rotate the legs like if they were up like this and then this will kind of fit into here I feel like that goes okay That'll go into there and clip this back together. Okay. Alright, so that's in there now. This goes down. This goes there. So we kind of have it already. Leave this open. Take these arms right here. And we want to detach them from the shoulder. So they'll rotate like this. I'm going to do that from this side also. Those aren't half as hard as uh, as I remember. So we'll tab all this together. And these panels flip out. Gotta make sure this is all straight. These panels flip out and you'll see that there's tabs right here. And those tabs tab into in here. There's some notches. You can see, let me get the light shining on it, right here, there you go, right there. Let's detach this, I think if we detach that first and then bring these in, bring this in, there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll take and push these in, and then uh, these uh, these uh, these connectors will then tab in to here and up here. So you'll see that there's another tab right here, and that'll tab into right here. Like that. So we'll close this up. 
get all these all tabbed in together. And your vehicle is in, <laughs> your Optimus is in vehicle mode now. So you have that, and uh, now you can add his weapons. And this. Oh, hey, one thing I forgot to show off was the instructions. I was sitting there looking at them. I forgot to show them off. They're actually really nice instructions. They have gold. Um, like a gold orange color for all this and it's a pretty big uh, size instructions uh, the front side is all the old stuff and the back side is all the new pieces the ramps and everything how to make a gun uh, then we have a nice picture right here of Optimus Prime and then we have uh, some different Cybertronian tricks right here so we have the Null Ray Ray the Shin Scream the uh, Protogon, the Primo Grind, the Ali Ali Maximus, the Kawao Prima, the 360 Diz, the, uh, 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 the Rockabye Prime, and the Hasta La Maximo. So, Hasta La Maximo. And this is basically, you have your... Um, uh, right here, you have your warnings and stuff again. So, for Prime, you're actually supposed to be able to put the ramps on top of it. I don't know if I actually tab in. Or what? Oh, hey, they have these little tabs right here. So that's what it is. You can take that. Put that right there. You can take this, maybe this fits here. Doesn't seem to tab on, maybe. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't think that was supposed to pop off. But, okay. Yeah, I don't know how that's supposed to connect into there. Um, so for the instructions, it just shows it up there. It doesn't show like how it connects up there. Uh, now this piece right here you'll take and fold it in like this. Oops, this piece right here you can take and fold it up like this. Um, then there's some tabs. So you tab those together. And then you can Is it there maybe that it goes? I think it's supposed to have in there, but it didn't stay very well. Because um, that's where his hands are. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can open his fingers up. And maybe it'll... Open those fingers up, then it should it should go into there. So then it goes in there if you open up those fingers. But I still don't know how this goes on here, so I I'm gonna just place it there. And then, I don't know if this connects to anything. Um, I don't see it 
anywhere on here. Um, so I don't know where this goes. So we'll just set that off to the side. But he has his weapons. Uh, the weapons usually went up here. Um, tabbed up here. You can tab them on the sides like that, or you can tab them up here. We'll go ahead and uh, get him into his base mode. I don't know, I kind of would have rather had these in the gold paint than, uh, than in this silver. Because silver doesn't really match anything. Nothing else on him is silver. Well, I guess except for that. <clears throat> the uh, the tampos and the paint that they used on here. There's no stickers. They didn't use any stickers on this guy and I and I appreciate that uh, because I've been going through a lot of uh, reviews and then and, and going through the stickers and stuff. But this has nothing on it. This is all paint. So it's nice. Alright, so uh, for base mode let's see here. Up. We'll do this. Bring all these pieces up for right now. Flip this open like that. Bring up these pieces up. And I want you to reopen them. <laughs> so I don't know why you would even close them. But uh, then once you have that, let's do that. Okay. I'm supposed to bring this up. Seems a little weird like that. Oops. Oh, it doesn't show that you do that. Uh, we'll, we'll wait a little bit on that. <clears throat> so I'm going to split the legs like this. Then you take uh, these pieces and you want to rotate them back down again. Make sure they are locked into place. Bring this up for a second. Come on, lock into place. Also, there we go. Bring these up like this. Then um, these will come down, and then these plates will go down like that. And after you've done that, um, you can then bring these in a little bit like this. All right, and once you have that. Said you gotta go underneath here and you have to bring this up. And that leaves it all straight. Good. Okay. Uh, the only main issue that you have is that some of this stuff gets covered up, like the ramps. Uh, I think this was the one of the issues that I had with the original, is that the ramps get covered up by this. And then if you take the guns and then you put them in where they're supposed to be, right here. Then it covers up the rest of the ramp. Like I really wish there would have been a uh, a twist in the hips so that you could rotate this all around and then have the ramps going forward like they're supposed to be. Oh, you actually are supposed to have this up like that. Um, then once you do that, then you have your uh, your turrets that go here. 
and this is your base mode. And uh, then if you want to, what you can do is you can take these guns off and you can turn it into a skate park. <laughs> um, you take these ramps and they plug into here. Other one, so you want to pull out these. These little pegs, and they kind of move. And you want to peg them into this hole where you have the turrets at. Let's see here. There we go. Leave them like this, and then you take the uh, the rails, untab these. Hmm. <laughs> that doesn't seem. Oh, you have to push them in even further. So you have to push these in all the way. Yeah. It looks like it will go. Okay. Oh, I saw something fly out here whenever that happened. There should be a another black piece. So that's cool. It all explodes without a without damaging anything so it will come apart if it needs to uh, okay. okay so I need to get this just right alright so we have the skate parts, the skate park set up as I, as I call it. Oh, that guy's still in here. So we can. Attach him back on, and uh, he can be uh, grinding across uh, the base here. So, so let's go ahead and get him back into his uh, his robot mode. Take all this apart. No, it looks just fine. Um, and I was I was kind of afraid I broke it, but it's fine. Come on, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so let's lift this up. Okay. Put these panels down. Clip that in. Bring. In here, okay. 
out. Bring the feet forward. Close these panels up. Something's not right. Okay, that's what it was. <clears throat> okay, oh, and I forgot to bring the head, <laughs> the, the helmet portion out. So we uh, uh, want to open up the uh, the head or the mask and <clears throat> it's a little bit closer and a little bit higher. That should be good there. So there's the uh, the post right here. Master goes in there, there, and then like that, and he is inside the helmet now. And uh, all your regular weaponry and stuff, uh, we already know about that from the uh, uh, from the original reviews. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and put these these on because I like these. <clears throat> I I like this gun kind of. Um, but this gun, no. <clears throat> All right. So to make his rail gun, <laughs> he um, uh, basically you need to take all of these new pieces. And let's go ahead and bring this down some. This and you take um, so you take these pieces and you want to bring them out like this. I don't know if I'm showing both of them like this, so I'm gonna leave both of them like this. But I think that you're probably let me just go like that. Oh. like this they go um, so you see that there's um, kind of a notch type thing here and you kind of line those up and it doesn't really stay together very well so you have to take the board this board right here and there's two 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 kind of uh, um, places to, to post in um, so you want to like that. Let us go like that, and then you'll take this right here. You see that there's two, there's two tabs right there, and then there's in here. There's I don't think you're supposed to use the the hole. You're supposed to use. You're going to be a problem. No, you are supposed to use the hole. So. And these pop off very easily. I've had them pop off several times already on me. Um, so you tab all those together. And I suppose that this is supposed to be the handle now. So... Open the hand, 
and tab that in. And we will close the hand a little bit. No, it doesn't close any. That's really really loose. It goes like that, and you can kind of close the hand around it a little bit, but not really. So that is the rail gun right there. <clears throat> and it's not very, what can I say, it's not very uh, uh, maneuverable. Um, raise it up a little bit but you have to hold it because it wants to untab itself and then his his elbow joint is very weak so you have that not too bad Power of Ragnar. I, I just got it now. <laughs> so the figure isn't that bad. It um, instead of it being black, it's almost a very, very, very dark brown. Um, if you look in some of the highlighted areas uh, where the light hits it, it almost looks like it's brown. Like maybe it has a gold overtone on it. And it makes it look a little brown because of the, the gold paint or stuff. But it looks like a very, 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 very dark brown instead of black. Uh, a lot of people hearkened them to Nucleon Quest. Um, I wouldn't say that this is Nucleon Quest. Uh, this is just uh, black and gold. Uh, the only thing that bothers a lot of people is the blue. The blue that they added in to... Uh, um, to him uh, with the windows and then the uh, the blue accent on here the eyes don't bother me too much um, probably those should have either been gold or maybe red um, everything is molded in this color and then all the well except for these pieces except for the weapons those are all molded in gray Everything else is, uh, um, all of the colors that you see on here are painted. Um, so the gold and the uh, the silvers and the blue are all painted. So there's quite a blue, uh, quite a bit of paint in here. Um, like I said before, the uh, tempos are really nice. They're crisp. Um, overall, it's a nice figure. You know, I say if you were able to get him at the $50 price point for either BotCon or HasCon, not BotCon, um, San Diego Comic-Con or HasCon, then um, I say he's worth it, but I think he's going for over $100 now on eBay, and I, I wouldn't pay that much on there. Um, you know, I, I purchased mine for almost $100, uh, but that included shipping so it was 60 um, on the site so I felt like that wasn't as bad um, so now if you take this and you buy this and something else on Robot Kingdom because I think he's still available on there I don't know like I, I've checked back and forth on there to see if he is available so I could get a box and um, I've seen him up there a few times and uh, it doesn't look like They've been selling out. So I don't know if people just aren't noticing that he's up on there. Um, but maybe they will now after my uh, video review comes out. They'll probably sell out. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, so he's still up here. He's in stock for $69.90. Um, the only issue is you're going to pay probably about $30 for shipping. Because they are in, uh, I think they're in Hong Kong. 
so uh, you're going to pay a lot for shipping. But still, if you're paying a hundred dollars on eBay, you know, and these guys do take care of their customers. Uh, as of right now, uh, like I said, it, my box did come damaged, but they've shown pictures that they've gotten a new box for me and that they're going to send it. They said it's going to be there in about three weeks. We'll see. Um, so I will be posting pictures once those arrive. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll have that figure by then. So. Um, I'll probably just take a box and um, probably sell it. Um, I'll probably put it on my uh, um, on my Facebook page or put it on either um, uh, either the Transformers Buy Sell Trade on Facebook or uh, Dojo Disciples. I'll probably have it on both of those, um, and I probably won't charge too much. I'll probably maybe about ten fifteen dollars. Um, maybe 20 uh, with free shipping so uh, that'll probably be it for that but um, yeah I I really want to thank the guy that because I, I actually took this I wasn't able to get both times I wasn't able to get um, a uh, um, an RC a Hascon RC so I'm actually trading this for that Hascon RC and uh, the guy and uh, fortunately didn't want the box and uh, so that's why I didn't really care. I asked him if he would allow me to review it, and he said yes. So I want to thank him for letting me uh, uh, open this up uh, so that I could bring this review to you guys. Um, otherwise, I was just going to send it to him and then not have a review. I um, always wanted to do the review, but felt like um, I wouldn't do the review justice if I didn't have a, uh, a clean box, like if my box, box was all messed up. I didn't want a dog on um, on Robot Kingdom because I've ordered a lot of stuff from them before. And like I've said, I haven't had any issues with them in the past. Um, this is the first time that I've ever received something um, and it wasn't to my liking. So it, it looks like they're taking care of me. Um, I've got a couple of comments from... Uh, from people whenever I did post up about it and they said that uh, uh, Robot Kingdom is good at taking care of their customers so um, hopefully I can count on that so and with that that I'll go ahead and do it for this review of uh, primitive skateboarding um, Optimus Prime with Shredimus Maximus uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos like subscribe and also look for me on Facebook this has been Tambiota I'll see you guys next time